Drizzle wasn't there during the day. We made it up mid to upper 50s. A little bit warmer than I was thinking, but still kept temperatures under 60 because of all the cloud cover today. Real time update right around 50, just under or just over. There's a look Doppler radar, and we're going to go in southern Maryland around La Plata. And as you go northern Virginia, Dale City, Woodbridge, some light sprinkle activity if the way it's more just drizzle or even Davidsonville. It's what's showing up is that very light blue is that drizzle activity, but we do have more in the way of rain headed our way. You see near Richmond over to Roanoke that batch of rain headed right for us. And so as we're going to the bus stop forecast for the kids tomorrow, still have to get through some raindrops at 50 degrees and for the next three days by afternoon, the winds really ramp up. I'll let you know exactly when that rains out of here, how strong those winds will be and thereafter your complete forecast just a few minutes away. Plenty of people at the Tidal Basin today taking in the gorgeous cherry blossoms. The National Cherry Blossom Festival always draws its share of crowds and traffic to the area. But this week, another event is going to shut down an entire metro station and plenty of roads for days. Cheryl Connor is live at the Tidal Basin to explain. Cheryl. Well, and Kimberly, there are really two stories out here. Of course, the beautiful cherry blossoms and then the congestion. It has died down for now, but looking ahead to the week, there will be challenges on both the roads and the rails. Beauty and the beast, cherry blossoms and the traffic that comes with it. We came through Uber. We didn't even want to look for parking. It was crazy on Friday. Spring break mixes with peak bloom, and this is what we get. The crowds and the cars surround the tidal basin. Oh my gosh, even to get here, we wait more than an hour. Betty Itana and her daughter still got dolled up in their Easter best and walked around in chilly temperatures. But beauty has an ugly side, and the challenges on the roads and rails may get worse. The nuclear summit is planned for later this week. Parking restrictions near it are in place now, and several roads will close around the convention center starting Wednesday. Plus, the Mount Vernon Square Metro Rail Station will close Wednesday evening through Friday evening. I think because it's for safety reasons, I feel better about it. I mean, anything to make the area more safe, especially I live pretty close to here. The Secret Service asked Metro to close because it's within the secure area. Green and yellow line trains will continue without stopping. And there's no stopping visitors who are excited their trip lines up with peak bloom. I've heard that it's the specialist time of the year. I think it's sort of monumental of D.C. And we've been lucky to have peak bloom here on this Easter. It began on Friday, and on average, it goes anywhere from four to ten days. Now, if you want more on those road closures coming up this week, we have them on our website, WJLA.com. Live at the Tidal Basin, Cheryl Connor, ABC 7 News. Cheryl, thank you. They just look beautiful behind you there. We have new and important information tonight in the murder of a teenager on the platform at the Deanwood Metro Station. Family members are now telling ABC 7 News that 15 year old Devonte Washington touched the lives of everyone who knew him. In the last 10 minutes, a family member just told ABC 7 that Devonte attended Largo High School and his mother and sisters actually witnessed the shooting. Tonight, the person who shot the member of the junior ROTC is still on the run. We don't know what the subject matter was, uh, but it, do, it doesn't believe to be random. It's not believed to be random, that's for sure. Today, police increased patrols at that station on the red line, and riders told us that gave them a better sense of security. Police are offering up a reward of up to $25,000 for information leading to an arrest and conviction in this case. Police in Howard County are also searching for a shooter. This time, the person shot two people at a truck stop on Assateague Drive in Jessup.